So there's this video that just surfaced of a Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson sparring session. And it looks like, I don't know when it took place, but it looks like it took place a while ago because they look, they both look considerably skinnier. Um, but, uh, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of media outlets are, are, it's going around, they're showing it, um, and it's, and I, and I watched it and I'm like, really, that's it? Like, I, I really just wanted to give my thoughts on it, but, so the video is pretty much a, literally a 20 second clip of, like, it's not even actually, the sparring is done, it's in between a round, I guess. And uh, Shakur saying, no, I'm done. Like, uh, I'm tired. Um, and then that was it. You could barely hear it kind of thing. Um, so, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I wouldn't take anything of this, really. Because you don't know what was going on that day. You don't know, like, what work Shakur was doing before that. Um, maybe, like, he did a lot of working out before the sparring. Maybe he was just tired that day. Maybe it was really hot in the gym that day. Um, and it's not like he was, like, huffing and puffing and, like, like getting beat up or anything. It looked like he was just in between a round and he, he was kind of smiling. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm tired. And it's just like, I don't take anything up of it. I know Bill Haney. It's titled Bill Haney's Clowning Him for Being Tired, but, like, Really, if they actually fought in a, in a real fight, um, I, I it's hard to pick who would win that. To be honest, um, I think it could go either way. It's just so hard to really say because both of their styles meshing, you you, you just don't know what will happen, right? Is Devin Haney gonna box him with the long arms? Is Shakur gonna box Devin Haney? Is Shakur going to, like, more uh, sit down on his shots, right? To me, it looks like Shakur has more uh, more power than Devin Haney from what I've seen. But, uh, yeah, like, it's really, it's really hard to pick who would win that fight because, like, it, it just, both of their boxing skills are very good. And they've both proven themselves. But, like, obviously, Devin Haney has fought the better competition. So, it's really hard to say, like, where Shakur is fully at. You And, and when you think about it, Devin Haney did face the better competition, but he has struggled, right? Um, and I don't mean, like, struggled against George Cambosis. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Alomachenko. In my opinion, he lost that fight. Lomachenko beat him. And why didn't he want to... Like, why didn't he want to rematch Loma? Like, I really... That really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I feel like if you think you're the best, you should run it back. And I know he was outgrowing the weight, but really, you can't do a rematch, like, for one more guy and then move up. You have to just move up when clearly... A lot of people thought you lost that fight. So that's a different topic, though. But, yeah, like, what I'm trying to say is Devin Haney has faced the better competition. But when he did, it's not like he looked extraordinarily impressive, right? Like, if you look at all of the other guys he's fought besides Lomachenko, I think Shakur would beat all those guys. But I don't know if Shakur would beat Loma. But we would have to see that and then we could kind of judge from there, right? So, yeah, like, I don't take anything from this video. It's just like when people see the face-offs in the weigh-in, like, oh, that guy's scared. Oh, he won the face-off. Like, you really think that matters? Like, I, I just don't get it, you know what I mean? Like, even if a guy looks nervous, which it's a big event and you got a crowd watching you, right? Like... Just because I'm nervous doesn't mean I'm scared, right? You're nervous of the event itself, but you're not scared of that guy, you know what I mean? So I don't take anything of this sparring clip saying he's tired. I don't take any... It's not like... Unless he was getting beat up, I would take something from that. If he was getting, like, just his ass whooped in sparring by Devin, okay. But it was literally just words. Like, you don't know how, like... 
it's not like he was getting beat up, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't take anything of it, guys. But I would really like to see this fight when it does happen. Um, it will be a huge fight. It's just a shame. I was starting to like Devin Haney a little bit because he went to Australia. He took the belts from Cambosis. Good performance. But he faces Loma. And then the dad is... I can understand the dad's going to think he won no matter what. But they're just delusional to think that they easily won the Loma fight. And the fact that you don't run it back shows kind of insecurity to me that you don't want any of that smoke anymore. So you're you're getting away from that. So I kind of don't like that. Um, but yeah, like he seems like a like a de- he seems like a respectful human being, Devin Haney. It's just I kind of didn't like how he did how he did that though. How he he doesn't want to give Loma another shot when. Clearly, it was a very close fight, but... Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about that little clip. Who do you favor in that fight, Shakur or Devin? To me, at this point, it's a toss-up. I'll have to see Shakur against someone like a Loma or Shakur versus, like, someone who's higher up than um, than the opponents he's, he's fought. But not to say... Like I said, not to say that Devin Haney's... Obviously, his resume is better, but, like, I think Shakur would beat all those guys, ex- except Loma, we wouldn't know, right? That would be a toss-up. But. Anyway, guys, this is Triple J Boxing. Thanks for watching. Take care.